All right, hello. We are going to continue our study of arrays, um, and now we're going to search for like a number in a in an array. All right, so these are called like searching algorithms, and there's sort of two of them that'll be on the AP test potentially. One called linear search, and one called binary search. Okay, and this is actually you know a pretty famous computer science question. If you think about it, this is how Google made its name, right? What Google became famous for was having search code that um, could search through you know, the internet really fast. And, and honestly, that boggles my mind, which I think of all the stuff that's on the internet, there's like 8 million cat videos probably by itself. But if you search in Google, it can find it in an instant, all right? And that's part of the like appeal of Google, right? If you hit search and it took two minutes to find everything, it would people would abandon Google like, uh, like crazy. So anyways, making it efficient and fast becomes really important, right? So as we talk about these algorithms, we're also gonna talk about like, what's the fastest way to do it, all right? so the first way to do it is the two the two searches that um, are on the AP test, linear and binary, are kind of related to this number guessing game. Okay, so like basically you say, hey, guess a number, and they say 50, and I say that's too high, so then they guess 25, and then I say that's too low, so then they guess like 30, and whatever, whatever, and et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so just think of that guessing game where you're getting feedback if it's too high or too low, and then try to answer these questions. What is the best strategy, worst strategy? And then if it was the worst strategy, how many guesses would it take to find the number, right? And if you use the best strategy, um, how many times would it take to find the number, okay? With the, or sorry, the max, I guess, number. You could get it on the, in either one of these, you could get it on the first try, but in the, um, you know, what would be the most guesses it would ever take? Pause the video, give it a shot. Okay, so the best strategy, um, I'm just going to write it in shorthand here, um, would be to guess the middle all the time, right? So whatever numbers are possible yet, based on the feedback they've given you, just guess the middle and then adjust your guess based on if you're too high or too low. So I'm going to call that just guess the middle, okay? And this is actually pretty much what binary search is going to be. So we're going to talk about binary search today, and that's pretty much the guess the middle strategy and then adjust based on that. Um, <laughs> the worst strategy should be to guess one, then two, then three, dot, 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 to 100, okay? And that is basically a linear search, okay? So that would be the, the worst way to do it, okay? And so in linear search, the worst, um, the maximum guesses you could ever get would be 100. So if the value was actually 100, you would just have to guess 100 times before you got it right. And for the best strategy, um, sort of the, the way that I recommend doing this is sort of take the numbers and say, look at our guesses, right? So we would guess 50, and if that's not the right answer, um, then we would have to guess. And so like the worst case would be like if I guess it would be if it 1 or 100 or something. So I'd guess 50, then 25, then either 12 or 13. But I'll just do 12 to make it simple, right? And then keep cutting it in half, 6, guess 6, then I'd guess 3, and then I'd guess maybe 1. Right, and so that would be six guesses, right? And I guess it could be two there, so maybe maybe it'd be seven guesses. Because if I did 50, 25, 12, 6, 3, and then they I did one and they said me go higher again, then I would do have to do two. So I think it would be seven guesses. Okay, so the, to find the number, the max number of guesses, you kind of sort of divide it in half, right? And you'll see that that's what binary search is doing. So in the worst case, it just takes whatever number you have divided in half, however many times it takes to divide in half, that's your sort of um, worst, worst case scenario um, for that strategy. Okay, so linear search, all right? So, you know, linear search we talked about like in that guessing game is not the best, but um, when you have an array, right? So when it, this is not quite like the guessing game, but basically what we're gonna do um, for linear searches, if I want to find a value, so like a target, so let's say my target is, let's say like 15 or something, that's what I'm trying to find, that number, I'm just going to guess my index is one at a time. So I'm going to go, is this index, does this, do, so is numbers, is numbers position zero, is that my target? So I'm going to check, is that my target? Okay, and in this case it's not. So then I'm just going to move my eye over one and then check this spot. Is that equal to my target? 
nope, then check this spot, this spot. So you just have like an index I and you keep moving it over until you find your target. Okay, so in this case, I finally find the 15 when I hit the tar or when I hit the index of five. Okay, and normally that's what I'm gonna return is I would return the IDX of five. So we, our, our method here would like return five because that's where we found the 15, right? That's where we found it in the array. Okay, and that's called linear search and it's pretty slow, but we don't really have a lot of options if they're not ordered. Okay, so when we do the, the binary search, we're gonna kind of sort of guess the middle, right? When we do binary search, but in order that work, we need the, them in order. Right? If they're not in order, we don't really have any options. I think all we can do is linear search one at a time to see if we can find our target number. Okay, so that's called linear search. Okay, so binary search, right? Uh, how it works when you have an array is you check the middle number, right? So you gotta get the middle index, check the number there. And if it's one we want, we're done. If it's too low, right? Then we're gonna eliminate it and all the numbers below it, right? Because it's it has to be one of the higher values, higher than where we're at. Okay, and if it's too high, we're gonna do the reverse. We're gonna eliminate that number and any of the numbers above it because they're all too high. Okay, then we find the middle, and this should say like middle index, sort of of the remaining numbers, and then repeat those steps until we find the number. All right, so I'm gonna kind of walk through some examples here and then hopefully um, that'll help. Okay, so uh, here's my first example. And I'm gonna have a target of four, right? I'm trying to find four in this array. Okay, and so basically um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the middle index. Okay, and so I'm gonna to start to talk about the code here a little bit because it gets a little confusing. But the middle index here would be this, the three right here. Okay, and so the way we find that in code is I think we just do numbers dot length and then divide that by two. So this length would be seven and we divide that by two would be 3.5, but then it would truncate to three. Okay, so if we use an int here, if we just divide, that'll be our IDX we look for the first time. I should have this the other way, IDX would equal this. Okay, and that's where we're gonna look first. Okay, so then we're basically gonna say, okay, is the value there? So now we're gonna do like numbers, numbers, and then the, the IDX that we're looking at, whatever it is, we wanna say, is that thing equal, equal to our target? Which in this case is four. And if it is, we're done, Yahoo. But in this case, it's not. So we know that um, since this isn't the number, we can eliminate it and all the numbers above it because all of these are also too big, right? And that's where being in order helps. So if this one's too big, it can't be it and then all the ones above it can't, all right? So what we sort of do is we jump and, and say like our max, we have like a max index that was sort of uh, up here, like the highest one, I guess they call it high oftentimes. And so we're gonna move that down. We're gonna jump below where we are. And now this is the highest possible spot. So you sort of track the highest and lowest possible indexes. And so we'd move it now to like, low would still be at zero and then high would be at two now. Okay. And so then we sort of find, this is all we've got left. So we find the middle of that array, which would be this three. Okay. And so now we sort of check, okay, is our target value equal to this? Nope. Um, the target value is actually higher than this three. So we can eliminate anything below it and the number itself, right? So we sort of move the lowest possibility up here. Okay, and now low and high match. So we basically just check that spot. And if we found the number we want, boom, we return that index. So in this case, we would return the index two. And if we don't find it, then we'll return something. Usually we'll return something like negative one saying we didn't find it. All right, so that's how it works is you kind of eliminate either the upper half or the lower half and then keep honing in until you find the number you want. Okay, and again, that this is binary search where you guess the middle. Okay, so I think to try and make some more sense of this, I'm just gonna do a few more uh, examples. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna go through another example here of binary search. So here's our array. 
it looks like it's got 10 elements and we're trying to find the 23. So we obviously know that it's five here, but I wanna walk through the code uh, in a little more detail with you. Okay, so basically you have a few variables um, and you do the low, you set an uh, int that represents the lowest possible index and then another one that represents the highest possible. All right, and you set the low to zero to start and basically the high to be length minus one, the array length minus one. Okay, and then you also have a middle one that you calculate by doing whatever low is plus high and then divide by two. That's the kind of the guess the middle step. Okay, so for this particular one, um, the mid would start off as it would be zero plus nine, I guess I should put it in parentheses and then divide that by two. So that would actually be 4.5, which truncates to four. Okay, so mid is gonna start right here. Okay, and so sometimes I'm gonna make a little table. So I'm gonna track the low, the mid, a low, high, and mid. All right, and so the first time through, low is zero, high is nine, and mid is four. Okay, and so what happens is we're gonna check at, at that position. So we're gonna do like array name, position mid, and we're gonna compare that to the target. Okay, so in this case, our target, sorry that looks so poor, but our target value is 23. So basically, uh, in this case, we're gonna, the, the array mid is 16, right? We have the 16 here and 23 is greater than that. So we know that none of these work and the number itself doesn't work. Okay, so we're gonna essentially eliminate all of these from our possibilities, all the ones below or equal to the spot we're on, right? And so the way we do that in the code is actually make the low variable jump and be up here, okay? So now we have low will become um, five, right? Basically becomes mid plus one. So mid was four, so now low is now five, jumps over the top, high is still nine. And then we recalculate mid to do five plus nine, which is 14, divided by two, which is seven. All right, so what it looked like is low has jumped up to five, okay? And then we calculated mid by doing low plus high divided by two, so that was right here. So we're gonna guess the middle of our remaining possibilities, since we already crossed off the ones down here. Okay, and so now that's gonna be a 56. So now we're gonna compare 56 to our target of 23. So our target is smaller than this 56, which means this one is in it and all the ones up here are not it, right? Because they're all bigger than the 56 cent they're in order. So since we didn't find it here and it's too big, we know it has to be somewhere less or possibly not in the array at all, I guess that's a possibility. So to do this, I'm gonna jump high to be one less than mid, right? Because I, I wanna move it down because I know all of these are no good. So low is still five at this point. High is now one less than mid. So now it's six. Okay, and then we're going to recalculate mid. All right, so mid is going to be kind of weird here because I'm going to do 5 plus 6 divided by 2, which would be 5.5, and that just truncates to 5. So at this point, mid is actually the same spot as low, which can happen. All right, and so then uh, now um, we're going to check array position mid, which is now, like array mid is now 5, and array position 5 is 23, and since it equals the one we want, we're gonna stop. We're just gonna return that position. So we're gonna return, in this case, the index of five because that's where we found the 23. Okay, so we can see this only sort of took, let's see, three comparisons, right? We had to compare position four, position seven, and then we found what we want at five, so we were done. So that was kind of quick. We just did um, a set of just um, three comparisons there, and then we found the five. All right, I'm going to make another video going over a couple more examples. Um, so that's what's next. Thanks for watching.